This short film demonstrates how in the Bronze Age copper ore could have been smelted into copper metal using just a simple hole in the ground. Copper was the first metal used by humans. It is mostly found as a mineral ore. Turning the ore into metal is called smelting. Our experimental work has shown how this can be done in a simple hole in the ground and also how it would leave very little archaeological evidence. For this experiment we will be using a type of copper ore called malachite. This was extensively mined in the Bronze Age at the Great Horn Copper Mine, just a few miles down the road. First, a small pit is dug into the ground, here using an antler pick. A small groove is cut into the edge to allow air from a set of leather bag bellows to be blown into the pit. The copper ore is then crushed on a small stone anvil. Many examples of these anvils are found at prehistoric mining sites. The ore is crushed into a fine powder. A fire is then lit in the pit. And charcoal added. The crushed ore is then sprinkled onto the hot coals. And more charcoal added. The end of the bag bellows is placed in the pit and a cap of turf placed over the top. Air is then forced into the pit by the bellows. This will increase the temperature inside the pit, creating a simple furnace. This is kept up for a couple of hours. Inside the pit, a reducing atmosphere is produced. The carbon monoxide produced by the burning charcoal bonds with the carbon in the ore, producing carbon dioxide and copper metal. This chemical reaction is what changes the ore into metal and not the temperature in the furnace. Changes in the colour of the flame coming out of the pit show how the smelt is progressing and when it is complete the cap is removed and the copper metal retrieved. The metal is a pinky yellow in colour. The remaining fill of the pit is washed to check for smaller fragments of copper metal using a simple panning technique. These fragments are collected together and put into a ceramic crucible and returned to the furnace to be melted together. 
After the smelt, you can see that the soils inside the pit have hardly been altered by the heat. Only the surface has been affected. The underside of the turf cap also showed a similar effect where it had been in contact with the heat. With the copper smelted, small amounts of tin or lead would have been added to produce the harder bronze alloy. This would have been poured into a mould, which when opened would have revealed the bronze.